Alright, so now in this video, we're going to take a look at the 2N3906. I know you can't see the part numbers. I can't zoom in with this camera uh, in video enough to see them. But this is a 2N3906. This is the 2N3904. I've been doing a lot of videos using this transistor lately. Now we're going to look, it's an NPN transistor. Now we're going to look at its PNP version, the 2N3906. So, you should already understand the uh, NPN transistor pretty well before you start studying the PNP. But here we have, we have our load, we have a resistor from the positive rail, 220 ohms coming to the LED. That's controlling the current through the LED. Right now the transistor's on. It's letting current flow freely. That's why the LED is on. It's on because we have this 10 kilo ohm, giving a little bit of current to the base, but that's enough current to get it to conduct fully. If I remove the resistor, now you see even though we have a continuous path, the LED is off because the transistor is not conducting. So it's behaving as a switch depending on how much current's making it to the base. And there's enough to get it to conduct freely. So we're going to just make the exact same circuit with the PNP transistor. But as you may be able to tell, this is NPN, that's PNP. So the chemicals are opposite, so polarities are opposite. And up here is the collector, base, emitter. Again, collector, base, emitter. These both start with 2N, and as far as I know, every transistor that starts with 2N has, when you're looking at the flat side, collector to the right, base in the middle, and emitter to the left. So the emitter for the NPN is going to ground, whereas the emitter for the PNP it's actually going to the positive rail. And so what we're going to do, we're going to take an LED. So now you can't see while it's in the board, but of course the LED here, the longer lead, the anode, is towards the more positive side. The cathode is towards the more negative side. So we're going to do the same thing with this transistor, but now the more negative side is on the bottom. So we're going to put the longer lead to the collector of the transistor there. And of course, we're going to need a protective resistor. So, this is going to be 5 volts, just the same as this one. I have a 220 ohm resistor. This time, I'm going to connect it directly to ground. So, now, a lot of times, generally, you see the resistor on the more positive side before the LED. It doesn't really matter, whatever it, it takes to work. So, now the LED is off. So again, we're going to take a 10 kilo ohm resistor. Even though we have a path through these components, the transistor is off. It's not conducting. So again, the polarities are reversed. So we're going to take the 10 kilo ohm resistor and we're going to plug it into the ground rail. So a little bit of current now. Actually, electron flow, a little bit of electron flow to the base of the transistor allows a lot of uh, current flow through there. So now I mentioned electron flow. Uh, current is an imaginary way to think of how electricity is flowing through a circuit. Actually, it's uh, positive here. Normally we talk about current, that's conventional current. That's how they actually thought. They thought electricity was like a fluid it behaves like a fluid, but they thought it was kind of a fluid that flows from a more positive area to a more negative area. Now we know that actually electrons are what are flowing through there and electrons flow from the more negative to the more positive. Of course it doesn't uh, really matter as long as you understand which direction you're talking about. So conventional current you're talking about positive towards negative, electron flow you're talking about more negative to positive. And as you can see here, we got two points that start at negative. They make their way to this single point. Both of them do, over there to positive. So in this case, you can think of electron flow. A lot of times when you're talking about semiconductors, you're looking at electron flow because when you learn the chemistry even more, I'm not really going over the chemistry, but when you learn about the chemistry, it only makes sense if you understand electrons and electrons flow. But in any case, 
This is just kind of a quick introduction for people completely brand new to the PNP transistor. This particular one, the 2N3906, is complementary to the 2N3904. They have the same basic characteristics, whereas other versions of uh, NPN transistors, they may handle more current or they may switch faster. They, they have different uh, variables like that, whereas this one has about the same. It's in the same family, but it has the opposite chemistry.